family is embarking on their lifelong dream to open a bed and breakfast in France. I just can't wait to get there. Yeah. I just want to get there and get looking. They'll see these three potential places in the French countryside. It's a good first impression. Yeah. The staircase is just beautiful. This is beautiful garden. Really nice. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I am a carpenter for a living, carpenter and joiner. I am a criminal defence barrister. We have a, a two and a half year old son called Finn and we've got a one and a half year old three legged dog called Lila. We live in a borough of South London. We live in a three bedroom house. It has three living areas downstairs. There's a small kitchen and a very small bathroom. Originally, this house ticked all the boxes for us, but now we have a number of other priorities and we're already outgrowing this house. I think we've come to the time in our life when we need to move on. We want to get out of the rat race, we want to live a quiet pace of life. We need to make a really big change so that we can enjoy Finn growing up and each other. Steph and Charlie have decided to move to the western region of France and open a bed and breakfast, or a gîte. That looks great. A gîte is a self-contained, self-catered holiday property. The region we've chosen in France to conduct our search is the Charente. Rolling hills, vineyards, it's really gorgeous. Charlie and Steph have set their budget at 300,000 euros, which is the equivalent of 465,000 US dollars. An empty space here. Oh, well, quickly fill it I'll up. Fill it. <laughs> In France, what we really need is more rooms and bigger rooms. This room is meant to be my office, Charlie's office, Finn's playroom, and we just can't fit everything in. I need a bigger computer as well. <laughs> we can't have everything. When we moved into this house, this kitchen was a disaster. Charlie's taken down a whole wall. No, it's not a big kitchen. It's bigger than it was before. In France, I'm not going to find a kitchen that I don't have to redo because the French have a very different attitude towards their kitchens. They take their kitchens with them, so Charlie's going to have to start all over again. He's going to love that. <laughs> I like the look of that one. Do you like the look of that one? No. Mm. No, what's wrong with it? What we're looking for in our ideal home is we'd like to be within walking distance of a bar, um, restaurant, shop, um, lots of indoor space and lots of outdoor space. Well, that looks like a bargain. We're really excited about moving to France, the possibility of moving to France. I just um, can't wait to get there. Yeah, I just want to get there and get looking. The Charente is a little bit undiscovered, so prices are still reasonable here. Steph and Charlie are looking to set up a business here in France. The best way they're going to achieve what they want to do, which is high quality sheets, is to buy a property without buildings where they can create the sheets in the style that they want. Plus, as Charlie's a carpenter, that means he can do much of the work himself. After Charlie and Steph arrive in France, they meet up with Matthew to see a $460,000 house in the village of Mata. This is the house. It's really pretty. Yeah. It's really, really nice. pretty. It's a one bedroom, which I know you were looking for something slightly larger. Yeah, maybe four Ooh. or five bedrooms. That's a big gap. <laughs> a big gap. You'll see that there are some possibilities. Okay. All right. mm -hmm. But it is in the village, which is something yeah. that we really wanted. Mm -hmm. Did you see the restaurant as you came in? Yeah, we yeah. did. Yeah. This is the entrance hall. Okay. But they actually use it as the master bedroom at the moment. Ah, that would explain the bed then. Yes. <laughs> right. And this should really be the sitting room or, okay. or an entrance hall sitting room. It's a good first impression. Yeah. That, that wall's lovely. You've got the buttered up stone, which is nice and traditional. I like the ceiling too. The, be the beams are great and they look in reasonable condition. So this is a great sitting room or dining room. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a really good space, isn't it? Same walls as in there. Mm -hmm. and yeah, the walls are good, actually. That wall there is the exception, and it, they've obviously knocked a hole through there, mm -hmm. and it's loosened all the stonework. There's a nice beam there. What's that, Charlie? Yeah, that's oak. That's nice, a big hefty beam. Looks good. Okay. Good condition. And there's a feature fireplace as well. I think it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> This is a good 
size. It is a mm. great size. That's a yeah. fantastic space. Yeah. Um, kitchen's a bit of a disaster. And you can really make a lot more of the space here. You could have a peninsula, you could even have one of your most island units in the middle. That would be nice. Yeah. We're looking at 10,000 euros probably, but it is a blank canvas and we can pretty much do what we want. Well, let's go and have a look at, um, at the bedroom downstairs, great. Fantastic. And this is it. Okay, well this is a, a nice sized room. Yeah. Again, it's got those new beams. Great beams, really like those. Lovely window onto the garden, mm. light and airy. It's great. Yeah, yeah. And the downstairs bathroom menu are right here. Okay. Right. right. Well, that's kind of far away from everything, and it's a complete remodel. A complete remodel. Yeah. yeah that's pretty grim. But what should we go and have a look upstairs? Now, I know you both wanted a bigger house, but this is why I want you to see it. We've got three rooms like this. Okay, I can see that these rooms give us a lot of options. There's okay. potential, but it's going to take a lot of work still, and, you know, even then, do we end up with exactly what we need, what we want? And how about this for an outbuilding? Wow. This is fantastic. This yeah. is what I'm talking about, definitely. And the arch there, the stone arch, that really makes it. This could be two, maybe even three sheets. But I think the roof is going to need a lot of attention, uh, yeah. which is big money. Wow, what a really beautiful garden. It's so well tended, it's perfect, and it's a great size. It's fantastic. Yeah, really nice views as well. The planting is stunning. I think the house has got everything going for it, just in not enough quantity, perhaps. But it's got a lot going for it in terms yeah. of location. A lot of the work's already done and the gardens are fantastic. Yeah. So it's certainly not out of the running. Yeah. Is it a hunting lodge or a Swedish sauna? Matthew, this is um, beyond words, I think. <laughs> and later enough. We can be up and running in this one much, much more quickly.